let me call upon Mr. Sandeep Chetri, sir, as the CEO of TradeIndia.com, India's largest B2B marketplace, facilitating the connections between buyers and the suppliers across diverse industries and the regions. Boasting over the two decades of expertise in e-commerce, whether it could be digital marketing and the product development, he played a pivotal role in propelling the platform's growth, amassing over 10 million registered users and attracting 9 million monthly visitors. Superb. Trade India is to empower India's 63 million SMEs to transition from local to global through digitalization, fostering online trade, leading dedicated team over 2,000 individuals. He is actively seeking talented and ambitious individuals to join us in reshaping the landscape of India B2B e-commerce. So please put your round of applause, a big hand to Mr. Sandeep Chetri, sir. Uh, first of all, thank you, uh, India 5,000, you know, MSME team for inviting me here in this event and great to see so many SME at one place. Okay. My name is Sandeep Chetri. I am been associated with Trade India from past 22 years and in last five years I'm running the business and I'm responsible for the growth of the company. Okay, if I have to explain myself, yeah. But in last 25 years, I mean 22 years we 21 years have spent very closely with the MSME space, very, very closely with the MSME space, helping them to build the business, helping them to go digital. And in fact, as we speak, you know, we have more than one crore SMEs on our platform who is doing business online and we are helping them to grow the business. Okay. Uh, before I start, I would like to congratulate all the MSME uh, who have won the awards. Because uh, what I feel is, you know, MSME are the backbone of the Indian economy. And not only backbone, but life and blood of the Indian economy, right? Everybody will agree to that, right? Isn't it? Yes or no? Yeah. So I'll throw some stats also. Yeah. Uh, if you see the Indian economy as a whole, 33% of the GDP of Indian economy is contributed by MSME of India. So that's why it's called backbone of you know, MSME. And in India, there are around 63 million SMBs. Out of these 63 million SMBs, 37% are only online. Only 37%, right? And that's what I've been asked to talk about, innovate or stack it. MSME and you know, the advantage the new digital age has today. If MSME is not adopting technology, and as the technology enhancement is happening so fast, People who is not adopting it will stagnate, okay? So do you have any idea how many internet users are there in India? Anybody? Any idea how many internet users are there in India? Okay. 900 million internet users. Just imagine. And this 900 inter million internet users, 77% are in mobile. Like I can also see so many doing multitasking today on phone, right? We are listening to this and we are also doing multitasking using internet today. So internet has that power and that small device which is there with you has so much of power that you can do so many multitasks at one place. But when it comes to adopting technology for your company, we don't do that much as an MSME aspect, you know, not much. That's why we say 37% are still there who are only using technology to do go, you know, business online. Yeah. How much data we are creating every day? Do you have any idea that all the browsing which we are doing internet today, how much data we are creating every day? Anybody has any idea? It is 2.5 quadrillion bytes of data we are creating every day. What that means is this is not just a number. This is a heartbeat of internet today. This is not a number. What I say heartbeat of internet because if I have to consider one byte, okay, one byte as one drop of water, then this will at least fill one million Olympic size swimming pool every day. Just see the huge data which we are creating. So I am sharing this with you is the consumer behavior is being captured using these data points. Okay, and MSME ha 
if they adopt technology, can be able to target these consumers using different mediums, different technology adoption. That is what I will be talking about in the next 10, 15 minutes. Okay. First and foremost is how to use this data, why people are using this data. First important thing is if you are not using this technology, businesses who have not done it is either closing down or they don't have a competitive advantage or they are not able to increase their efficiency in their company. And I'll talk a little bit, I'll share you some very good technologies which is there which will help you to do that. First and foremost, most important, how many people here is using WhatsApp today? Can you raise your hand, please? Everybody, right? Why people are using WhatsApp? Because it's fast. So if today, as a business, in, a, in your website, most of the people today, they use email as a form, but not WhatsApp as a option for customers to connect with you. Why we don't do it? Because people don't adapt this technology of WhatsApp business API, which is a very, very interesting innovation which Meta have done for the MSCP. And even if you see two days back, Meta have signed with ONDC to help MSCP to come to the WhatsApp platform. Why? I'll share you one more very interesting stats, okay? Because your consumers today, you are connecting with consumers through email, through SMS, and through WhatsApp. SMS takes at least 48 hours. People don't see SMS today. Email also takes 48 hours, whereas WhatsApp is just not even, you know, nine minutes. People reply within nine minutes. Just imagine, okay? So this is one technology which you can adapt. Second challenges which I see which, you know, adopting technology will help you in operation efficiency is everybody has marketing team, right? Everybody will have marketing team. Yes or no? Yes. And all the marketing team is using their own number to connect with the customers, right? And marketing team will have attrition. They will go to and join competition. Your data is gone. But using WhatsApp business API, what it does is you will only have one number and you can automate the whole process. When I say one whole process is with one number, your sales team can connect, your accounts team can connect, buyer can you know, have discussion in one place and you can automate the whole process. That is where automation helps in terms of you know, adapting technology will help you to increase your efficiency and also improve your productivity and the data leakage is low. Now coming to the new market share, okay? I'll give you one example of textile industry, okay? I, because we work very closely with the uh, textile industry in Surat. And when you go to Surat, you will find that these uh, companies, you know, there are two type of companies. One is traditional way of working and somebody, and the new generation which is working in a, uh, adapting technology. The traditional way of working, they will say that, hey, we have so much of order, I don't want to go online. And the new age guys, what they do is, they are using adopting technology in a way how they can accelerate faster, okay? How they're doing is they are having all the database, they use WhatsApp, they use email, they use CRM, they use lot of digital tools to connect with more customer and also acquire new customer using e-commerce platform. So because they're using new ways technology and also social media, to you know, generate more new acquisition, they have more better opportunity in the traditional medium. Okay. Third, one myth is there that specifically in the B2B space that they feel that key manufacturer, they feel that social media is not for us. How many people agree to that, that for a manufacturer, social media is not the right channel to advertise or connect with the customer? How many people feel that? Okay, nobody feels that? Okay, that's good to hear that. But social media cannot be used generally only for generating leads. It's about connecting with the customers and helping them solve the problems also. There's a very good NASCAM survey which says that when people have connected their customers using social media and solve the problem, the customer service and the customer satisfaction has increased by almost 25%. And today, because you, me, everybody are in social media, that 
has helped to build the brand online repetition management. So there is something called online repetition management, okay? So being there, using that technology will help you to be better than your partner or your competition. The fourth important challenge which I see specifically in the SME space is distribution. So when I say distribution is they have a warehouse, they have an inventory, they have a team who manages all the uh, logistics, so on and so forth. Okay. But there are a lot of good technologies which is there which will help to optimize the everything. You know, there is an e there are ERPs, there are CRMs which will help you to do that. That is what we also at Trade India, we have developed a product called Trade Khata. Trade Khata, what it does is you can, you know, have all your customers' data there. You know what is that inventory which is there, what are the invoices which has been raised. So what it does is at one place, at one dashboard, you will be able to know all or each and every, you know, insights about what is happening with your product, where it is moving, which sales team is, which customer is, you know, buying how many products. So distribution is something which you adopting new technologies will help you. So this is also helping you in terms of efficiency, bringing the productivity and also because you know where exactly the data you have. It will help you to solve your customer problem faster. Okay, if you are not adopting it, please ensure that you, know, you have this ERP in place and inventory management in place. That really help you to solve a lot of problem. Okay. The fourth and the most important aspect today is personalization. I can see people coming from Kolkata, people coming from Ahmedabad, Wapi, uh, Varudra, you know, Maharashtra, Suthane and all. Okay. People love personalization these days, okay? There are three Vs which is very, very important going forward in terms of the technology per se. The three Vs are voice, vernacular, and video, okay? I'll talk a little bit on when I talk about personalization, I'll talk about a little bit on the vernacular side, okay? And I'll give you, show you some examples also. So if you go to any search engines or any platform today, the data shows that, you know, out of 10 searches which is happening, 4 searches is happening in vernacular today. Why? Because people, audience today want to consume content in their language. Okay. And that is where AI comes in place. Okay. What we did at Trade India is we had 30 lakh pages and we converted these 30 lakh pages within one day in Hindi language. And the results were so phenomenal that we started getting 3 lakh unique users on those pages. Just imagine 3 lakh unique users on those pages. Just converting that in Hindi language. Just imagine that. Or my, I, I tell my customers, don't think too much. When you go to Google, you will see 10 languages there, right? Have you seen that? 10 languages. They show you 10 languages where, by which you can search. So Google have already done the research for you. These 10 languages are so popular in terms of searches happening in India. Just use that, just convert your site in those languages. And AI can do that just in one hour, as simple as that. If you want, I can share you the partners also, like Amazon, they have such a good AI tool. Google Cloud, they have got a, such a, you know, they have Vertex AI, Jain AI, so you have, these are new technologies which they have come up with, which will convert your website or anything you want, any content within seconds, you know, it's, a, it's just like that. And the accuracy is almost 90%. That this is one way how you can connect with your other audience, which is your target. Because today we feel that all our audience is English speaking. I don't think so, right? Asa nahi hota hai na? My audience can speak any language. Very nice. What's your good name? Chetan. Very, I'll give you one very interesting example. Okay, exactly same thing happened and what we did my customers say that, hey, uh, when it comes from South, they always say Tamil, Tamil, Tamil. Do you have somebody who can speak Tamil? Okay. What we did, we created something called AI agent. Okay. This AI agent, what it does is converts the whole website in Tamil language. And the whole website, there will be an agent who will be speaking about the whole website you know, in Tamil. And it took us just five minutes to convert that. And we shared that with our customer and asked, why don't you share this AI video? with your customer, you know? So this is where technology, and this technology is, is it costly? No, 
this ai video to create that ai video will not take you more than 1000 or 2000 rupees that's it but see the conversion and now if chetan will have to speak with that tamil customer he will have to find somebody who can speak tamil you know translator then it the conversion time will take lot of time but this ai video makes an impact immediately and he will just say that okay hey chetan i want this product or he just messages it right as simple as that and if he he messages the back in tamil he will convert that in hindi and he'll do that or english and he'll reply back so this is the power of technology today and this technology adoption will help you to grow faster now most important fit fit most important aspect is see we on our platform we get around 2 and 1/2 lakhs so for ev in every one second we get four requirements on the platform and customer they come to us and say hey we reply to those uh, companies and specifically in exports okay i'll talk about more from the exports perspective they say that sandeep oh na uh, buyer is not replying us and then we realize that why buyer is not replying okay if you see most of the emails these days how many people have gmail id here can you raise your hand please 90% is saying gmail id just imagine today lot of cyber crime is happening today and when you send a mail just from gmail id the buyer seller is sending a mail in you know, replying back to a buyer on gmail id who is an ex importer in a city at another country what he will think whether this is a genuine company how big is this company this company doesn't have a corporate id as as well and he is saying he will he, this company is exporting so this is a very again a very small investment from the technology but just it have the small investment go to google workspace we google workspace will not take you more than 2000 rupees to create one email id corporate email id you know no spamming nothing you do that it's in cloud and in fact i i, I tell this in a different way that the founder i mean the ceo of gmail a google sundar pichai is using the same technology which you guys will be using using that workspace just imagine the power so just invest on these technologies adapt this technology aap adapt nahi karenge then you will always feel this problem no buyer is not replying and you might be getting lot of mails with your name to yourself also because gmail id does that you know you can just change the name and he will write a, you know there are a lot of spam happening these days that is why people don't reply but just try to send a mail from your corporate id see the change so this is small small technology which you can adapt and people who are adapting it japan yahan par there are almost 10 percent who say that we have a corporate id just take their feedback they might be getting lot of the replies on time they might be converting faster so much and so on and so forth and the most important aspect is the visibility okay when i when you talk to smbs today they say that नहीं मेरा तो बहुत आई हैव लॉट ऑफ बायर्स वाइड आई नीड टू इन्वेस्ट इन विजिबिलिटी बट लाइक आई सेड टुडे 900 मिलियन पीपल आर इन इंटरनेट टुडे व्हाट आर दे डूइंग वेयर इज द डिस्कवरी हैपनिंग डिस्कवरी इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस स्मॉल डिवाइस राइट मोबाइल एंड इन दैट डिस्कवरी इफ यू आर नॉट प्रेजेंट देन यू आर लूजिंग बिजनेस इज योर कॉम्पिटिशन इज देयर सो माई सजेशन वुड बी दैट have your digital presence in all the marketplaces create your website have your presence in all the social media so and so forth because this will help you to increase your business and there is a very good study done by google and google have shared this study you know you can just search also the post people who have improved increase their visibility specifically msme per se they have increased their revenue by 25% just imagine 25% just by increasing and having the visibility online so with that i know i don't want to take uh, much of your time also so first if you are a msme first thing you should do is adapt technology second which will help you to be ahead of your competition second is adapt digital transformation within your organization which will help you to improve your productivity and efficiency third to build your trust as a company 
be present in all the marketplaces and finally don't be afraid of using any new technologies try that it's not costly today technology has changed a lot digital technology has evolved a, evolved a lot you know you can have you can connect with a lot of partners today who are building for the SMEs of India today. So that's it from my side. Thank you very much for listening to me. If you have any questions, I'm around. Uh, you can always connect with me and you know, I'm happy to answer your questions. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sandeep, sir.